Hey everyone, welcome back to The Tune Project. Today I'm going to be showing you a simple exercise to help you stop squeezing your left hand. This is something that we all deal with at one point or another in our playing, especially those of us who are just starting out or haven't been playing the violin for very long. So I'm going to be showing you a simple exercise that'll help reduce the squeezing, reduce the tension, and hopefully send you on your way to becoming a better musician. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, stay tuned. And as always, I'm going to ask you to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful and if you're not yet subscribed to the tune project i invite you to join our little community here by clicking that red subscribe button below along with the notification bell so that you can be notified each time i upload a new video so for those of us who like to squeeze the neck of the violin when we play it usually involves the thumb and the first finger or the index finger, okay? So what we wanna do to eliminate that squeezing of especially those two fingers is to simply find a way to release the thumb. And a really great exercise for doing that is to tap our thumb on the side of the neck. Now, this is something that you can do while you're playing or not. You can practice it just in playing position, having your violin up on your shoulder, having your hand as relaxed as possible, and then simply tapping your thumb on the side of the neck as so. So as we do this, we're, we're forcing our thumb to relax and to release any sort of tension, and that in turn releases the tension from the hand as well. So this is something that's really great to do if you find that you're struggling with squeezing and you want to just force everything to relax because we all want to have a relaxed hand, but in reality, sometimes it just doesn't happen that way. So this is a really great way to kind of just force our hand to relax, release any tension that might be happening and overall just improves our technique along the way. So, so what you're gonna do to start off this exercise is go into playing position so bring your violin to your shoulder and then we're going to take our relaxed left hand bring it to the neck and simply have as light of a touch as we possibly can so we want to make sure when we're doing this that our wrist is nice and straight if you tend to have a collapsed wrist that'll also impact this exercise and the tension in your hand so we want to make sure that it's upright so that our fingers are able to curve around the strings nicely this will also help our intonation as well so i want to give you an example of how to implement this exercise when you're playing so what we're going to do is we're going to play just a very simple scale starting on open an A and we're gonna tap our thumb along the way. Now don't worry about any sort of rhythm, tapping your thumb in rhythm or staying in a certain time or anything. The point is to simply release your thumb along the way. So it doesn't really matter how slowly or quickly you're tapping your thumb as long as it's moving the entire time that you're playing. So let's go ahead and give this a try starting on open A. Go ahead and get your thumb going. So one, two, Ready, go. All right, so it's all right if you found that your intonation was a little bit off during that scale or if your bow tone was a little bit off that's all right because the point was to relax the left hand so as long as that was happening and as long as your thumb was moving the entire time then that is great if you continue to implement this exercise into your practicing, you will definitely see an improvement in the tension in your hand, and you will be, like I said, kind of training your left hand to relax. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Happy practicing. 
If you'd like to further your support of The Tune Project, be sure to head over to patreon.com slash The Tune Project for information on that. And if you're planning on buying any music or doing any shopping on Amazon, be sure to head over to The Tune Project website, which I linked in the description box of all of my videos. Click my Amazon banner and whatever you purchase, a small percentage of that will go toward The Tune Project. This just keeps The Tune Project going and allows me to continue to create free content for you all.